G'day guys, welcome to Keelan's Informational Centre. You've come to the building today and I'm going to explain to you the history behind Morton Island and our itinerary while we're on the island. So come in here <laughs> and I'll explain. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, we're gonna, we're camping here. He's lost the accent. <laughs> no more accent. <laughs> It's like a heap of Spitfire caterpillars, eh? That was a bit strange, so we've come down to a spot called Blue Lagoon. This one is a gem on the island. Um, everyone talks about it. Morton Island has got more spots than a bloody Dalmatian. I'll tell you what, you never run out of things to do over here. Uh, we'll show you this one. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not a bloody... An absolute... Blue. Yeah, hopefully it's blue. <laughs> we've been to a few lakes with names with colours in them and they're not that colour, so let's check it out. So we've come down to Blue Lagoon, there was a massive family here two seconds ago. They've all left, so we've got the whole joint to ourselves. Look at this, private little beach. It is stunning. But? Is it blue? No, it is brown. <laughs> and is it warm? It's so cold, so, but... That's good though, because that's the first refreshing water we've had in that long. I know, I like warm water. David Hasselhoff Sprint. That's it. Home time. <laughs> Back to the swag we go. <laughs> So what just happened? There's a bit of a backstory to it though. So we're trying to find ourselves a spot on the eastern beach. We went over to that little nook over there. There was like real weird stuff. Like kids had made like this little cross. We like, hope it was kids. It was like a cross yeah, and a bit of a mound. So we didn't know if someone, something was buried there. Yeah, or... I know. I felt weird about it. So I've come over here. I'm trying to convince Gillen to come over here. And I kid you not, this is just sitting here. Just 50 bucks. Just 50 bucks. And I almost feel bad for taking it, but there's like all these like cigarette butts and they're like half lit. So whoever was staying here last has just flicked all their cigarette butts. They're all in the thing here. So we're going to clean up their butts and we'll take their $50 for doing their cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you kidding? 50 bucks and the best campsite in Australia. <laughs> Old mate, whoever was staying here, what yeah. an expensive habit. Yeah. But thanks for paying us to clean up your shit. <laughs> How good's that? Paying us to clean up. That's a good job, I reckon. Everyone told us the west side camping was good. Now we're on the east side. Uh, I reckon this trumps it. You got surf out the front, fishing holes. Surely we can pull a fish out of here. I know I always say that we never catch anything, but I'm gonna have a crack. And uh, yeah, this is living Barry. And I, I honestly think I'm still dreaming. I, I need to pinch myself and wake up because this is just insane. Check this out. Like, are you kidding me? I think it's mostly fresh. Did you dip your finger in there and taste it? Yes, and will I probably get a stomach parasite? Yes, this but it's worth it. This is why you Probably be spewing my ring up by 12 o'clock today, but... I reckon if we just... Yeah, it's not very deep, but obviously we don't want to get water, salt water in the car. Alright, we've just rolled in, we're at the north point of the island. Shut up, GoPro. Naughty. Schmack. There's sick waves and Morton's not a spot that is renowned for waves, but we found this sick point break. We're not going to tell you exactly where it is, it's pretty obvious, but... I'm going to go out and surf it, no one out. Hopefully see some dugons. Hopefully not see some great whites. Hopefully, hopefully no get a wave. <laughs> anyway, so we'll head out there now and hopefully I get a wave. I'll bring you along with you though. I'll bring you guys along with me though. I won't bring you along with you. I'll bring you, yeah, anyway. Let's go. Let's go surfing. <laughs> Look at these guys. How sick was that? That was so dreamy. We missed these dolphins that were in the waves. I know, it was when Keelan came out to pick me into a view, and as we were walking out, there were these dolphins all in the waves. I'm like, too sure that happens when we're yeah. in the camera. But my legs are literally like burnt after that long one on the GoPro. Like, I went the whole way down the point riding that wave, and by the end of it, it just had the biggest jelly leg. But that's probably the longest wave I've ever got in the whole world.
Radio Turkeys and the financial media sales are on now, so it's the perfect time to save some money. I check. The guys that make the best high pressure monitoring systems in the country are giving you guys a special offer. So if you use our code SKT10 for this month, you'll get a free set of deflators from the Pro Series range, valued at $100, plus 10% off, plus free shipping. These things are wicked. They're the most accurate deflators in the country. There is Pro Series models, so they come with cores as well, valve cores, and a few extra caps too. These things we swear by. These things we swear by. Get in now, while stocks last, SKT10. So I was literally just saying to Keelan as we were driving, I haven't seen any dogs on the island and we were wondering whether you're allowed dogs over here. But just as I said that, we then saw the cane code de detection dogs. There's a vehicle and they use dogs to detect the cane toads because apparently it's a cane toad free area. So they're trying to keep the uh, toads away by using dogs to search for them, which I think is so cool. Yeah, how mad is that? And they I had guess like that's a... like what dogs were really bred for originally, you know? And they had like this little, um, this little labradoodle thing that had like dash hound in it. And some so other... cute. They don't look like they could kill anything, them dogs. I know, they were like loving life. Their tails were just wagging. It was so cute. Anyway, what a day. How sick was that? So good. It doesn't get much better, does it? Say it. That's living Barry. I'm sure you guys are wondering why we've left the van on mainland and didn't drag it over here. I think personally it was the right call. Uh, we made the call because from the people that we spoke to, we'd never been here before so we didn't really know what it was like. But a lot of people said, if you want to do both sides of the island, definitely don't tow a van over. However, if you just wanted to camp on the west side and day trip over to the east side, take your van over, it's fine. But because of the tides and the inland tracks are the, the ones that are actually a bit chopped out and harder, uh, people said just maybe leave it at home. And I think that we made the right choice too. And When we were in Stradbroke, we were like dictated by the tides. There was no like, oh, we can just see how we go. Like we had to leave on low tide and we had to come home on yeah. low tide. Like, and there were so many times where we were just like going back to camp so early because of that. So yeah. And here's probably worse, to be honest with you. Like the beach is like wide in some points and then it pinches up and it's real tight in other places. On the east side. On the east side, yeah. where the west side, there's no swell. So there's no surges or anything like that. So we just wanted to cruise around all day and then pull up somewhere like this and have the freedom. I reckon if you had a hybrid, like a squat hybrid that was the same height as the car. Our Armalite, we would have been fine over here. Yeah, Armalite would have been Still would have been dictated by the tides, but yeah. we would have got it into this spot. Yeah, another no-brainer is we obviously, if you watch the 200 series build, we set the back of the 200 up for this. So we are well equipped to, the, to leave the van and go out. We've got, obviously, we've now got a 240 amp hour lithium battery in the back there, which is pretty sick. Um, we've also got 2000 watt inverter, um, 210 watts of solar on the roof. So we do have the infrastructure there be able to do these trips and to be honest with you we haven't really felt like we've camped all around Australia like we feel oh, like the first year I was definitely camping yeah a little hybrid. but now we're, we feel like we're adventuring and we're camping like it's we're... like different like caravan living in a caravan has become normal for us so like this is like we're actually going camping yeah that's our house so it's literally like you guys sitting at home watching us right now that's how we feel like when we're in our caravan so yeah. So you guys getting away in the caravan is what we're doing now. <laughs> what we feel like now. So it's just weird perspective and how it all works. Though so we have been staying in the swag. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the swag? The blow up aspect is like ideal. It's so good. It's so easy to pack, um, set up. So easy to pack away. The mattress, the mattress is a little bit hard. <laughs> so to give you guys some background, this swag is really lightweight like it's yeah. under it's probably under 10 kilos and it packs up real small just so you, like a little backpack you guys saw it if you watched last week's episode the, the the swag is super small and that's why we got it because we have a caravan it appeals to us because we don't have a lot of space to store a swag so we can fit that one in our tunnel boot and just forget about it 99% of the times so then whip it out for a trip like this you know so we I don't like we pack have up pumped times. up the mattress too hard it just needs like a little bit of air mm -hmm. out of it I don't know, we'll, we'll muck around with it. I'm but not it's, sore, but Keelan reckons he's a bit sore, so... I've got like... Maybe it's just whoever's getting older. I've got a longer vertebrae than Sarah, so... <laughs> we can't carry around a massive swag, so... We would have went a King's Double Daddy Deluxe <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> they're so good. But they're so cheap. That's so what we ran at home, they were that good. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we thought we'd tell, talk you guys through why we've done certain things. Uh, so far, I reckon we've made the right decision. What do you guys reckon? And also, if you did watch last week's episode, you've seen this one now where we're camping. 
what do you reckon's better, east side or west side of the island? And tell us if you've been here before too. A lot of people have been here. We've only heard west is best from everyone that comes here regularly. So. And we might even have a fish. I know I've been saying that. We've got to do that. It's just been so much other stuff on anyway. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the videos. And uh, we're having a crack of time over here at Morton. So. It's happening. I'm going fishing. So I've just walked down the beach about 100 metres and uh, found myself a little gutter now. I'm fishing the tide. I'm about an hour short of the high tide. Every guru that I've ever spoken to that's a fishing guru has told me to fish the tide. So that is what I'm doing. But I'm highly disorganised. I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw a spinner for now, but also brought some bait as well, but I'm really disorganised. I couldn't bloody organise a rock fight in a quarry at the moment, so um, yeah, I'm going to throw this a few times. If I get Buckley's, then I'll go back, throw a bit of bait on, a bit of squid. Hopefully something takes it. Let's see how we go. I've switched up to bait. I'm running a running sinker just on a small hook down the bottom. I saw a big whiting today when I was surfing. You guys would have seen them fishing the waves too. I'm pretty sure they'll just absolute bull, massive ox whiting. Uh, let's see if we can catch one. I don't know if they're here. This is the east side. We're on the north side this, this morning. So let's have a crack. You getting bites? Keep him. No. I might let him go away. It's more right, but it's deceiving. That's a meter. You just, you just, it's an optical illusion. So it's really big. Anyway, he's going back in the, the ocean. Bit of Rex Hunt action. Let's get him back in there. Oh, <laughs> oh no! He's powerful. Yeah. He's powerful, eh? He's what like he kicks like a Hereford bull. What is that? What's for dinner? We got spaghetti bog with garlic bread. <laughs> Yum. So good. And what are you using the induction cooker? Induction cooker. And then we pre-cooked all of the mints and stuff. So literally all we had to do was heat it up in the pot. So easy. Well, and when I say we pre-cooked everything, I pre-cooked everything. <laughs> and we're pulling a hundred and 108 amps, well 110 amps off the battery. So we've got a 240 amp hour in the car, a 2000 watt inverter coming off the 240 amp hour lithium, all from iTech World.
down to Rouse Battery or Roos Battery. We have no idea what it's called. Standard. Um, but we're trying to come down on low tide. We thought we'll come just before low tide, but then there's heaps of rocks that you need to get through. So we decided we'd go back for a fish. And while Kim was fishing, he saw this like stingray or like fin sort I of thing. I just saw a shape, like a black shape. Yeah. And he was like, I think there might be a little shark in the water. And we put the drone up and not only was there one little shark, we but there was three. heaps. We found three <laughs> sharks. And I was surfing this morning too, a bit further down the beach. Yeah, and I wanted to go out in the whitewash and this shark was literally just cruising through the whitewash. So but insane, like we did not expect that. And then also we saw them fish. You guys would have seen them big fish as well. <laughs> if you know what them fish are, they're massive. They're like more than half a meter in length. And uh, if you know what they are, let us know. I don't know if they get Australian salmon here this time of the year or they are massive tailor. And everyone t keeps telling me there's no tailor around at the moment. So I have no idea what they are. Tuna, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, it was pretty insane this morning. A lot of wildlife to see yeah. in the ocean. But um, we're gonna check out South Island. South, South, there. South Island. <laughs> we're gonna check out South part of the island today. This is sort of the, the side that no one really gets to show you. Rouse battery or Ruse battery or something like that. If these walls could talk, I mean, this has been here since World War II. They set this up so when there was like an imminent threat from the Japs coming in, they built all these bunkers, these tracks. And this is about a 10K track and they've literally nestled in bunkers like this the whole way along it. So this one's a bit creepy. I'm gonna go in there. I'll bring you along with the GoPro, but I'm a bit scared to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if there's a freaking drop bear in there or something. Anyway, let's go find out. A bit creepy. That's a bit creepy. That says, that says death can be fatal. Das Auto. Scary, is it big? It's a bit scary. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Very scary in here. Once I did a school camp and they let us into the one in Rottnest WA. We're in a bunker like this and on the wall it said, scream as loud as you want because no one can hear you. <laughs> that is scary shit. That is insane. Imagine if these walls could talk. Far out, that is seriously cool. If these walls could talk, you can literally feel the energy in the dirt. It's probably placebo, but. What was your favorite part? The scared, like how scared I was. I don't know why, but. It would have been a scary time back when the wars were on. And Probably it doesn't just, help that we watched a war movie last night. <laughs> nah, but it's like, we've got it lucky. Like they really do. Yeah, we've got it lucky compared to what they had to do for us to be the way we are now, so. Wow. So, I reckon this is where the gun is, because of how good the lookout is. Look at that, that is insane. Wow, that's sick. Pity about all the graffiti, but how cool is that? So it's nestled away, and they would have just had the gun here, ready for whoever's coming at them. And obviously you've got a pretty good point of view off there, but it'd be hard not to get distracted with that sort of view. Look at it, 180s, all the way down there. How cool is this? So cool. Amazing. Far out. Wish people wouldn't graffiti stuff like this though. Gives a really good point of view. We're staying down there, and you can drive the whole way along the beach here. And today we're gonna to actually be heading up to that side of the island, which is the south side. And as you can see there, or well, you might not be able to see it on the GoPro, that's actually Stratty, North Stratty. This is insane, like this vantage point is just mint. And obviously they built this here for the right reasons because you can literally see everything.
this place even real? Seriously? So beautiful. I feel like we're in the Bahamas <laughs> with the Leroy. The it's insane. It's like crystal clear blue. It's so beautiful. And then you've got like all different kinds of ocean line. There's like massive waves and then there's sections that's just completely flat and then there's sections with just tiny little waves for learning. Like It's literally oh, insane. It's I can't like believe it. Yeah, we're going to go up the top here, I think. But yeah, we're just coming off the beach here. This is going up to another little town. So what I love most about Morton is that literally everywhere you go is you're driving on the beach. Like you're not going on roads and stuff. It's literally drive on the beach to get everywhere around the island, which is just sick. Karingle? Karingle, Kering yeah. Bit of a sign there. Townships all across Morton. Um, and apparently this one's got a cool bar at it. <laughs> so we'll go have a look. What's for dinner tonight? Chili con carne with potatoes. Yum. And sour cream. <laughs> what was your favorite part about today? Probably the World War II stuff. That was really cool. And something different. Yeah, right. What about you? I like the sharks. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> uh, well, we went surfing this afternoon. I was literally in knee deep water. I was freaking out the whole time. <laughs> what do you reckon they were? We, we did some like, We had a little look analysis. at um, pictures online and we reckon it's a bull shark so I don't know what do you guys reckon the photos looked exactly what a bull shark looks like from above so they are not the sharks we want to be in the water with let me tell you a story it's a very scary scary story nah seriously but we've got this new iTech world power station here you can't see it because it's dark but it's 160 amp hours so you charge it up and you can just bring it away with you and you, if you have a solar blanket you plug that in and pretty much it's like a dual battery system but it's portable so i'm going to make a video on the pros and cons that versus a dual battery system um so that's coming up if you want to see that let us know because i need to know what you guys want to see and yeah i think it's pretty cool like it's 160 amp hours and uh yeah you can discharge it as you're charging it uh it's got an inverter in it so you got 240 on that so pretty much the same as a dual bat with an inverter system through it. bright and early and we've woken up nice and early so we can come and snorkel the Tangaluma wrecks. We're so keen to get out there. Apparently there's heaps of fish and green turtles. So, oh, I don't know if they're green turtles. I think they're green turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Into the Tangaluma, Tangaluma wreck. Yeah, but it was so actually good. the Queensland government, they did it so that uh, recreational boat owners had a spot to pull up. <laughs>
and the financial year sales are on now, iTech World are having an 85% off sale. You can make that 90% off if you use our code SKT. That'll get you another 5% off on top of their sale price. You're wondering when the perfect time to buy. This is the cheapest it'll be all year long. So get in right now. It's only while stocks last. Only for this month. That's solar panels, lithium batteries, anything you can poke a stick at. iTech World, SKT. Go get some savings, guys. <laughs> Look at all the crabs. So we've come down the southeastern end, so we're the south of Tank Southwest. <laughs> southwest, sorry. We're on the protected side again. We got the ferry coming tomorrow, so we thought we'd check this out, but we had no idea. There's massive colonies of these mini little crabs, eh? And they're so fascinating. They're so blue. They just move around in a pack. Like, look at them. They're just everywhere. Like, they're plagues of them on the beach, and they just, like, disappear as fast as they come out. It's just insane. So cool. I can't, I don't know what they're doing. They're just running around. It's just crazy. This is so sick. How good is Morton Island? It just keeps surprising us, eh? Hey? How cool is that? I grab one little blue crab. He's not sized. You wouldn't be able to eat him. Um, but how sick is that? They're just the coolest little creatures. He isn't even trying to bite me. So, ready? Watch him disappear. Look at this. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> and he's gone. You wouldn't even know he's there. All right, we're finally leaving Morton Island after five days. Safe to say we've had such a good time here. It's literally been fishing, surfing, like the most beautiful weather the whole time. Today it's raining, but... We've picked a good day to, day to leave, yeah. but we've also run out of coffee. So we're actually like on a withdrawal at the moment. We are coffee heads, so for us not to have one, we're Get pretty... a bit of a withdrawal head. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We've had an absolutely insane time. We had no expectations on this joint. And, it's... and hopefully we've done justice to Morton Island. Like... It's such an amazing island. It's yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, hopefully we've shown it in a different light to what everyone else has too. So if you have enjoyed today's vid, right, easiest way to support us, literally hit that red button down below. It's free to do it and it keeps us on the road making these free videos for you for longer. Go ahead and do that. And we're off to Fraser Island next. So we've heard big things about Fraser. Morton have also said that they're the best island over Fraser. Yeah. So, so Morton <laughs> reckons they're the best. We'll go to Fraser. I'm sure they think they're the best. Let's, let's find out. You guys be the judge. Join us next week. We're at Fraser Island. Thanks heaps for the support legends and we'll see you there. Yoo.